this is a PSA. I am never going to take my animals to the Cypress Wood Animal Clinic on Aldine Westfield ever again. I just took my dog Aurora and my neighbor's cat Rue there to get fixed. I go to pick them up, pay the bill. It was more than I had in my mind that I was going to pay, so I was really confused. So I emailed them and I asked for a receipt, a detailed receipt, emailed. I look at it today and I'm like, well, what the hell is this? So my husband and I went there and we're like, we have some questions that need answered. There were charges from a previous visit from, for a different animal, my dog Togepi, that was on there. I'm like, well, first of all, I didn't bring my dog in, and when I brought my dog in last time, I paid that bill. So what is going on? She comes back, like, later, and so was like, oh, yeah, oh, this other lady came. And they're like, oh, yeah, you guys did pay that bill. I'm like, thank you, because I have receipts, you know, right here to show you that proof I did. I brought two e-collars in for the cat and the dog, so I didn't have to pay $15 each for a new one. Well, when I picked them up, they were both in different e-collars, and I'm like, okay, this is strange. Uh, they said that the e-collars that I brought didn't fit them, which I thought they did. I also brought in, I had the both e-collars and my dogs, my dog, Aurora, her paperwork from my original vet in the cat carrier. And I asked for the stuff back just now and they were like really, really freaking snotty about it. And you're like, we don't take paperwork. I'm like, well, y'all did and I want it back. Well, she's still adamant about that there was no paperwork and I still didn't get the e-collars back. So when you go bring an animal to the vet, you have to give them your name, phone number, email, address. So I did. And they had me multiple times put in as Rebecca. My address was wrong. My email was wrong. An additional cat was added to my account. And I kept telling them, I've never brought a cat here until just now. Whose cat is this? I only went to this vet because they have low cost spay and neuter. But if I knew that they would mess everything up, I wouldn't have gone there. So I'm never going back there again. I will go to my original vet that's expensive. And yes, my husband knows that I paid for another animal. I'm not just doing things behind his back like a lot of people.